At the Russian Jumping Championships there was an exciting confrontation between young figure skaters, which ended with an amazing victory of 12-year-old Margarita Bazaluk, a Terry Tutberidze's mentee. In single vault she surpassed her older rival from Krustelny, Adelia Petrosian, who won the title of Russian champion just a month ago. The victory over her peer and former partner Elena Kostoleva became especially important for Margarita. Their relationship was spoiled by an incident with yogurt at a training session in Novogorsk. No one confirms the dispute, but allegedly Kostoleva took yogurt for Bazilyuk at her own request, and in the corridor met a strict coach, and the latter scolded the girl for violating her diet. Margarita did not confirm this request, and Tutberids was even more disappointed in Lena. As a result, the fighting mom took the offended daughter away from Krustelny, and Bazilyuk settled there in the status of the main prima donna among the younger generation. Since then, every meeting at competitions between Bazilyuk and Kostoleva has been a real battle. This season they have not yet met on the ice, but the fight has been escalating. In the quarter-finals and semi-finals Kostoleva looked more confident, but at the decisive stage she failed to perform her characteristic quad jump. You can watch the performance of figure skaters as well as a sensational 4-4 cascade by Margarita Bazilyuk on our website figureskating.org at the link in the description. In the quarter-finals, Elena Kostoleva showed impressive jumps, including a quad salcho and a cascade with a triple tula, another solo quad salcho, two high triple lutzes and an excellent triple flip. The judges gave her a score of 37.80 but even Tatiana Tarasova on Channel 1 admitted she would have liked to give her more. This impressed everyone, including Diana Milto, who, despite her efforts, lost in the pairing with Kostoleva and left the tournament. A series of falls by Aliona Vilina of Plushenko's Angels attempting a quadruple tool-up ensured Margarita Bazilyuk a spot in the semi-finals. However, Bozilyuk realized that she needed more to gain the lead and despite a few difficulties in performing her jumps, she scored 36.92 points, losing marginally to Kostoleva. Adelia Petrosian, the Russian champion, qualified for the semi-finals with her third result. She demonstrated a cascade of quadruple and triple tula, but accidentally doubled two quadruple flips. Despite this, she successfully performed a triple flip and a clean quadruple tula, earning 34.18 points. Sofia Muravieva showed brilliance in the quarterfinals with beautiful triple axles, including a triple tulip cascade and a solo triple lutz. With her content, she overtook Elena Prinova, who owns the quadruple lutz. Prinova encountered problems after successfully executing a triple tulip cascade and was eliminated from the competition. In the new semi-final pairs, Petrosian faced Koltsova, Kostoleva faced Muravieva and Gordiva faced Bazaluk. In her performance, Petrosian experienced difficulties with her first quadruple flip, performing two turns instead of four. However, she successfully presented a cascade of a quadruple flip, triple to loop in double axle, followed by a quadruple to loop, triple to loop. She finished her performance with a solo quadruple tool-up and scored 50.33 points. Ekaterina Koltsova was able to show herself worthy, despite the loss, performing all elements cleanly. Elena Kostoleva continued to impress with her technique and artistry. She perfectly performed a cascade of quadruple salcho, triple tool-up and double axle, then no less well demonstrated a combination of quadruple salcho and double axle accidentally fell from a triple lutz, but quickly changed it to a clean one. The judges' score was 44.28 points, while Sofia Muravieva, who competed against her, couldn't keep up the high score and got 38.64 points. Margarita Bazilyuk made it to the final, although her performance was not without difficulties. Maria Gordiva, having fallen twice from a quadruple salcho and showed it in a cascade with two double axles literally at the last seconds, but received a low score of 8.64. But she received a low score of 8.26. Bazilyuk, having made a quadruple tulip in a cascade with two triple tulips, fell from a quadruple salcho in the last jump in the cascade, 
but managed to qualify for the final with 25.28 points. The final round was very intense, where each contestant had to perform two solo jumps, a cascade or combination of no more than two jumps, and a cascade or combination of no more than five jumps. Adelia Petrosian showed strength and skill despite falling from a quadruple flip. Elena Costaliva fell horribly on her hip while performing a quadruple salcho. However, the girl still did not give up and managed to do another cascade of quadruple salcho and double axle. Having performed a gorgeous triple lutz, she did not jump any more and got 54.69 points. Margarita Baziliuk seemed to be unable to cope with her nerves and lost not only to the more experienced Petrosian, but also to her principal competitor. From the first quadruple to loop she was winded, but Rita was so angry that afterwards she perfectly jumped a cascade of quadruple to loop and four triple to loops. Margarita Baziliuk, after learning about her victory, performed a phenomenal cascade of two quadruple sow cows through an oiler. You can watch the performance of figure skaters as well as a sensational 4-4 cascade by Margarita Baziliuk on our website figureskating.org at the link in the description. Margarita Baziliuk told how she decided to perform a cascade of two quadruple jumps. I want to thank everyone who attended these competitions, I was very supported. I am very happy. I want to thank all the fans. The competition is unaccustomed. After the first round you go out on the ice again, then you leave, then you go out again. You are emotionally tired, but you feel that you can still do it. A unique cascade of two quadruple sow cows? I don't practice it all the time. I did it twice at the evening practice. I went out with an empty head and I did it. Is it realistic to put it in the program? I'd really like to show it at competitions. But it seems to me that it is better to do two solo sow cows, because you will get more points than for a cascade. What are your expectations from tomorrow's tournament? I'm living one day at the moment. I haven't thought about tomorrow. I wanted to qualify today, that's all. I had to do my best and then the judges will evaluate me, said the figure skater. Adelia Petrosian said that she was very tired at the last stage of the Jumping World Cup. I'm glad that the individual tournament is over, we lost a lot of strength, but we also got a lot of positive emotions. For the last stage, where we did 5 cascades each, I was more tired than for the free program, I was running from one end to the other, trying to add elements. It was interesting for me to participate in these competitions. That year I was not at it, unfortunately, and this is a new event for me. I thank the audience my mom and coaches, who supported us and pushed us to make sure we had time to do all the elements. And also to the Russian Figure Skating Federation, which creates tournaments where we can show that we have the best athletes in the world. I hope to get more emotions tomorrow, I think it will be interesting and loud. We have two very fun, positive and supportive captains. No matter what team I get on, I'm going to do my best. All of my previous teams have been red teams. Maybe the tradition will continue, maybe not, Petrosian said. Elena Kostaleva spoke about her participation in the Russian Jumping Championships. Naturally, for me to perform at such competitions is a great experience. It is very cool when you perform and you are supported by the hall. I participate in something like this for the first time, I really liked it. How did you find the strength to continue your performance after the painful fall? I don't know, the strength comes by itself, especially at competitions, you do it on some kind of adrenaline. You can't stop after a painful fall, you have to go and do it. I'm very curious how it will be in the team event, I think tomorrow will be very cool, Costaliva said. Figure skater Elena Costaliva's mom called her a great athlete. Lena could not win. She is not ready yet, we will prepare for next year. She is after an injury and she has the ninth day of competition in a row, last night at 10 pm was the awarding. But she's a great athlete. We didn't expect to be allowed to compete at all. Her health was so poor even as a child that it was a matter of life and death for her. But you have to fight and play sports, an example for all parents. 
You want to ask me about Pazaluk's yogurt? No? And thank God. Let that story remain on people's conscience. It wasn't a principled confrontation. Am I emotional and out of control? I've done everything I can in my life, planted a tree, built a house, raised a daughter. And I have the right to say what I want. If I see injustice, I say it, and not quietly in the kitchen, but to my eyes. There is a lot of injustice in the world of figure skating. If it were different, we would see a lot of talented girls and boys, said Irina Kostaleva.